and he's heard so many years that he's been called, but now it's taking that calling, establishing it, with it fast mark for more, that you will never ever doubt again in your life. And so therefore I lay upon him this calling as shepherd in this church. Father, I pray for the gifting that will come upon them. Lord, that they will be stewards of your grace. And Father, that uh, as I, I pray that you will touch his ears and her ears, that they will hear God's voice clearly, Father. I pray that, that you will hear him clearly. And that when you say, God has told me that it will be from God, not from your own or from what anybody else said. Father, I also pray for their lips, that you will give them boldness, Lord. Put wisdom in their hearts. That when they speak, it will be the words of the Spirit. Father, I pray over the eyes, Lord, that these eyes are sanctified and holy, and it will be for your pleasure, not for your own gratification. Ears and your eyes and your mouth, and now your hands. Father, we pray over their hands as they serve. It will not be grudgingly. It will be with love that these hands will be hands of love. And then when you pray for the sick, that they will be healed. The Bible says if anybody sick, call the, upon the elders, and the elders will pray and lay hands on the sick and anoint them with, and the sick will be healed. So we pray for that, Father, that these two are elders, but they're also servants of God, and that when they pray for the sick, they will be healed. Father, we pray over their feet, that when they go out, they can say, the Lord led me here. Amen. That your feet will be directed by God. Amen. And that you will be careful to move on your own. That you will say, Lord, direct my feet today. And that you will know that wherever the Lord takes you is there where he wants you to minister. And minister to people and minister by his grace. Teach the word of God. I know you have the truth in your heart. I've tested you so many times that I don't want to test you anymore. All I want to do is I want to see you live this life of example to the young people. So you are officially ordained now as pastors of this church. You're part of our team now as shepherding coordinators. And I know uh, you and Pastor Morris and Lisa will have a wonderful time in leading. And the generational shift is taking place. We've had our time, now it's your time. Now I want to just ask that all the other pastors that are here, Pastor Elizabeth and Um Yuan, and um, if you can come, Lisa and Marius, if you can come.